I got $77 worth of books for only for $5. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikla. Since you guys kind of like my first Dollar Tree book haul with my last video, if you haven't seen that one, go down below, check out the link so you can see it because there were some awesome book choices that I showed you guys. So I decided to do a second Dollar Tree book haul. And let me tell you, these are some really awesome books. But other than that, sit back, relax, and continue watching. Go down below, subscribe to your YouTube channel, give this video a like sometimes throughout the video. But other than that, let's get started with this video. I'm so excited about this book haul. I just love books in general, but when books are only a dollar, like, yes. So. Let's start off with book number one. The first book is this one right here. It is called The Plus One. And let's just have some a moment to look at this beautiful cover. And it is by Sarah Archer. And here's the back of the book. Yes, lovely. Yes. So the plus one what is this book about so there's a main character her name is Kelly and she's 29 and a robotics engineer so her younger sister is getting married Kelly is the oldest sister doesn't have a date so logically you know like any person she build herself a date okay like anybody anybody would do that she build one her mechanical perfect boyfriend is named Ethan Ethan oh yes and when Kelly is with Ethan she's more confident and more spontaneous like she's a whole new girl when she is with her robotic boyfriend but there is a struggle to keep Ethan's identity a secret Ooh, and the major problem for Kelly though is that Kelly is falling in love with Ethan hmm like how you fall with in love with your mechanical boyfriend that you've built and made yourself but the plus one sounds really interesting and really good and yeah a good little romance guess uh i guess kind of book here um of course i had to do that for this channel like i always read romance so here's a little one here for you guys if you wanted to check this one out and so this book is 309 pages and 26 chapters this sounds like a really cool fun read and yeah i can't wait to read it myself book number two book number two is called barbed wire heart oh yes and this is what the cover let's appreciate the cover right here and this um i was about to say cover and this book is by tessa sharp and i, I just love the mysterious look about this book obviously it's a thriller i just love suspense kind of thriller in movies and definitely in books it's very exciting to read this types of books like that this is what the cover looks like and here's what the back looks like so what is a barbed wire heart about so there's a main character her name is harley mckenna and there's her father his name is duke mckenna so harley is working for her dad but dreading the day of ruling the rural drug empire he built because on the back of the book he says Duke McKenna runs more guns cooked more meth and killed more men than anyone around and so since Harley is Duke's daughter like she is up next to run this whole business this whole empire and she just like dreading it because this is not this is not her, you know, but it gotta be staying the family, right? But so, but like any like real big empire like this kind of family has a rival. Moving on, on Duke's weakest spot, which is her daughter, obviously, any kind of like family thing is always a weak spot to anyone. But if Harley wants to survive and protect people she loves, she has to take out Duke's operation. So take out her father's operation yes that's that's crazy in one and take out her rivals and the, her rivals are called the Springfields Harley knows all the ins and outs of her father's operation and she's just not no like little sissy little girl she is strong minded just like her father and knows everything so yeah it's this is gonna be a thriller book and I'm so excited to read this nice thick juicy book this book has 401 pages like I said thick yes and it has 59 chapters oh yes I love that 
very much. So that is book number two. Definitely check this one out. Definitely. <laughs> Book number three that I'm so excited to tell you guys about because it seems really good. I, I'm, I can't wait to read it myself. And this book is called Blood Sisters. And it is by Jane Corey. Appreciate this cover. Like, I just love it so much. Another kind of like suspense kind of like cover. Um, it just looks really good. This is the back. So yeah, what is this book all about? So there is three little girls that go to school one day and within an hour, one of the girls is dead. Oh, let's, let's keep going. The first girl, her name is Kitty, the, out of the three, she can't speak and act like she has no memory of the accident and she one day sees a familiar face and is very eerie about that. So the second girl, her name is Allison and she's a teacher and struggles to forget the past. Hmm. And she takes a teaching job at the prison and then finally gets some alarming notes while she's at the prison. Hmm. So someone is watching Kitty and Allison, the two girls out of the three that didn't pass away on that day. And so this person that is following them never forgot what happened and wants revenge and only another life will do for them. Like, oh, like this sounds even more good. Like, yes, I'm so excited to read this book and to read every page and crevice of this book. Blood Sisters sounds so good. Ah, so yeah. This is what book number three is. Book number four. Let's do it. This one is called Milady. Ooh, yes. So Milady is by Laura L. Sullivan. So let's appreciate this cover right here. I always like this type of era when watching like Downton Abbey or something like that or Victoria. And I just love that kind of dress. So this was very interesting book and I was excited to see what this is about so this is what the back looks like a lot of more other writing so what is my lady about so a heron story set in the 17th century in England so the main character is my lady day winter um villainous 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 yeah probably butchering that but after around the video so you know and she needs to tell her own story the truth she was an innocent girl from the countryside and then became the most feared woman in europe whoa this sounds so interesting just like the last other three and um once again it's a nice thick book and this book has 366 pages with only 19 chapters because these chapters are pretty thick each chapter is pretty thick um, which is is really good as well so yes that is Milady Ooh, definitely try to see if you can pick this up it sounds really really awesome <laughs> It sucks, but this is the last book that I'm going to show you within this book haul. And so this book is called When Winter Comes. And this has like an oldie style to it. It looks really, really cool. I love this um, book cover. And here's the back of the book. And this book is by V.A. Shannon. So what is this book about? When Winter Comes is about a main character. Her name is Miss Jacob Kellen. She's a mother and a wife, but has an unthinkable story about her past, how she got to where she at today. And her husband is even scared of asking about her past. So even that is like, what? Okay, so let me keep going. In 1846, outskirts of Cincinnati, in a wagon going to California, a 15-year-old girl is eager to escape her abusive family. She enlists to help a married couple with a young daughter of theirs, and instead of following the wagon train to California, they took a shortcut, like like in any movie, is ever taking a shortcut the best idea? Like, it never turns out great. So they took a shortcut over the Sierras and aiming to clear the mountains before the snowfall. But throughout that journey, Mrs. Jacob witnessed a lot of 
bitter memories and secrets but if she tells them she will risk everything that is crazy that's why nobody knows her past her truth of her past and this sounds really really interesting and really good so this is a nice good size of book as well it has 327 pages and this book has 45 chapters so if this book sounds very interesting to you definitely try to see if you can pick this up at their, your Dollar Tree as well or just pick it up anywhere where you can get books and definitely read it it definitely sounds a really interesting book so you guys, I hope you like this little book haul. I try to get some wide range spectrum of books this time around. And I just really love all of these books that I mentioned to you guys today. They sound really good and a lot more suspense thriller books this time, which I love just as much as my romance books. So if you like this video, go down below and give me a like. And if you give me a like, I can try to keep doing this Dollar Tree book haul to show you some amazing books I can get at Dollar Tree. So thank you so much for watching this video. Check your local Dollar Tree out. And I'll catch you back next week with another awesome video. Hint, hint. Kendra Ryan has, has another new book coming out to, next week. And you don't want to miss out. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.